Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. This class is specially created for anyone who experiences any discomfort around the knee area or if you are on rehabilitation coming out of any knee injuries. I urge that you seek medical professional help if the pain persists. Generally, any knee pain arises from poor knee alignment due to muscles imbalances and compensation around the knee area and the hip joint. We will need a scarf or a towel to assist some of the stretches in this class. So let's get started. Let's put the towel aside or the scarf aside and I want you to stand on the floor or stand on the mat and we are going to check our alignment, okay? So you can not do this in front of the mirror in front of the TV, anywhere that you can see yourself. So I want to just march on the floor, right? Just march, march, march. You can pause this video and go ahead and find a mirror in front of you. And then I want you to stop, boom, and just stop the position that you have. I want you to look down or look in front of you in the mirror and see your feet alignment, your knee alignment and your hip alignment. Ideally, I like to have the feet in parallel position, which means your toes are pointing forward like number 11 and your heels will be somewhere aligned with your sitting bone and your knees will be pointing forward over your feet and your pelvis will rest on top of the knee. So watch any interesting alignment that you may have, such as this, that, sideways, or anything. And just take note of that. That knee alignment or your leg alignment may be because of that muscles imbalance that you have and eventually knee discomfort or pain. All right, just take note of that. All right, let's get started. We're gonna lie on the mat. We're gonna start by stretching our gluteal muscles, which is our bottom muscles. We can, that can tend to be quite tight if you are compensating your walking due to any pain around the knee. All right, let's go ahead and lift the right leg up. So I want you to externally rotate the thigh out and then grab the hands behind the left thigh here. And then using your right elbow and push the thigh, the right thigh away from your chest. And here, pull the left thigh towards you. And I want you to just relax the bottom muscle down on the floor. It may be a little tense, intense with the stretch. I just need you to breathe through it. So we're inhaling as we press the leg towards you and then exhaling, just try to relax the whole body down to the floor. And I'll leave it to you how intense you want stretch to be. Or you wanna let go a little bit, that's also fine. And just make something that works for you. So we in breath, exhale, let it go. Let go of the pelvis on the floor so you can bring the leg closer to your chest. Again, in breath, exhale, one more, and let it go. And then we're gonna switch side, release the right leg down carefully, and then bring the other leg up for me, please. And then grab the back of your right thigh, push the left elbow against the left thigh outward, and pull the leg closer towards you as you surrender your pelvis down to the floor. And just take note, which side feels a little tender or tighter while you're doing this stretch. Just take an in breath, exhale. Again, surrender your bottom to the floor. Inhale, pull in a little bit. Exhale, push out on the elbow. One more, in breath, and exhale. And we let it go, lower the leg, release. Now have the feet in line with the side as your pelvis, as one of your pelvis here. They don't have to be too close with the pelvis. I just want you to have your knees where they feel comfortable with the knee bend 
arm side to the side, some hip rolls. We're going to drop the legs over to the right side and we can turn the head over to the opposite side and then stay. Now what I want you to do is lift the left pelvis, the left hip up a little bit more and push the left knee down towards the floor. And we're gonna stretch the front of the left hip. And we just stay there. In breath. As you exhale, surrender the belly down towards the back. One more. And we come back to the center. Over to the other side. We drop the knee to the left. Turn the head to the right. And we inhale. We press the hip forward. And then we lower the right knee down a little bit more if that's available for you. Listen to your body while you're practicing today. Any discomfort, please relax or pull back and just take it easier. In breath and exhale. You can push a little bit more if that's available for you. And exhale and let's draw the leg back to the center. Okay, now I want you to bring your feet, the heel bone, align with the sitting bone here. And your knees ideally should be facing upward and the toes are pointing forward as well. Arms long by the side, take an in breath. As we exhale, I want you to draw in your center, curl the pelvis, imprint the lower back down, and I want you to curl the pelvis a little bit more and lift the lower back off the floor and lift the last ribs down on the floor and stay. Make sure that your knees are not splaying out to the side. Keep that in a parallel position. Now I want you to dorsiflex the feet. So heels down, toes up, and stay there for three, two, one, we lower the feet down, we press the toes down, the balls of the foot down, and lift the heels up, and we stay. And I like you to think about dragging the feet towards the bottom, and the bottom towards the feet. Three, two, one, lower the heels, and roll the spine back down. Come back to your start position again. Exhale, we draw in the center, imprint the lower back, and then peel the lower back off. Just lift the last ribs off the floor, on the floor. Now we dorsiflex the feet, heels down, toes up, stay there. Keep curling, three, two, one, foot down. Press the ball of the feet down, lift the heels up, keep curling, scoop the center in, stay. Drag the feet towards the bottom. Three, two, one, lower the feet and roll the spine down. You'll notice that the back of the thighs muscles are starting to engage. Again, one more time, exhale. We are strengthening that hip extensors there. Inhale, we stay. And then dorsiflex the feet. Stay. Three, two, one. Be aware of your knee alignment. Lower the feet down. Pressing the ball of the feet down on the floor. Lift the heels up. Stay. Three, two, one. Lower the feet. And exhale, roll everything back down to the floor. Now we're going to take the pelvis a lot higher now. Exhaling, again, articulate the spine, curling the tailbone up and then rolling all the way up to that bridge position. Now you are resting right to the top of your shoulder here. Keep the abdominal engaged here and we stay and we lift the toes up again. Make sure the knees are parallel and make sure the pelvis are even on the left and the right. And stay for three, two, one, feet down. Lift the heels up, go into the ball of the feet, stay up. Three, two, one, heels down, stay in breath. Exhale, let's roll down from the top, the middle, the lower back, and the pelvis release. One last one. Exhale, we pelvic curl ourselves up all the way up. Up, up to your highest point, press the arms down, lift up a little bit more and lift the toes up, hold, stay, pelvis stays high, five, not five, three, two, one, feet down, lift the heels up and stay, three, hold it up, two, one, 
lower than heel. And then go ahead and exhale. We roll everything back down to the floor and release. Half your feet as wide as the mat here. Now I'd like you to press the thighs into the middle. And here I want you to deliberately squeeze the thighs to each other. You feel the inner thighs muscles working and stay there for three, two, one. Release, open the knees, open the thighs, stretch out the inner thighs. You can use your hands to push down the tiny bit more. Stay, three, two, one. Release, press the inner thighs together, squeezing the inner thighs and stay. Pulling the center, five. Four, squeezing, three, two, one, open the knees and outward. You can use your hands to help you press down a little bit more and make sure you don't overarch your back. Contain the abdominal in. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. One last one, squeezing in, squeezing in, stay. Five, four, three, two, one, we open and press out, stay, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Walk the feet in, align the heel with the sit bone here. And now we're gonna work the core area here. Take an in breath, exhale, I want you to draw in your corset muscles, wrapping around your center, lift the right heel up, and without shaking the pelvis, we lift the right leg up to tabletop there. Hold onto your center, lower down the leg from the hip joint. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we lift. We're going to load the abdominal muscle towards the spine to support the movement. One more, we lower, change. Other side, exhale. Bring in the center, heel up, lift, lower, exhale, lift. Again, take care that we are, we need to keep the alignment, the curve of the spine constant as you lower and lift the leg and make sure that you do not rock the spine up and down as the leg comes up and down and bring it down. And again, exhale, pull in the center, lift the right leg up to tabletop, Hold, lift the left heel up, leg changes. We're gonna lower the abdominal a little bit more and as we take the other leg up, the first one comes down. Exhale, exhale, change. And again, draw in your center, make sure you contain the belly down towards the spine and the pelvis stay. Stable, the lower back stay, stable. Exhale, one more each side, last one, and back to center, squeezing the thighs in, open the arms up to the side, drawing the center for our spine twist supine. Rotate to me as we in breath. Exhale, come back to center. We keep the legs together, we travel the legs together as one unit. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, rotate from the waist. Control, do not let the leg drop down to center. Over to the other side. And exhale, center. One more each side, in breath. And exhale, center. Last one, in breath. And exhale, center, and stay. I'd like you to open the thigh apart press the arms on the inside of the inner thighs. And I like you to think about pressing the thighs into your arms and you're gonna put pressure against the arm here and put a break on it. So we're gonna press up with the thigh and press down with the arms for five counts, okay? Here we go. Breathe out, let's go. Press against each other, pull in the center, squeeze the inner thighs, five, four, three, two, one. And let it go and stretch down a little bit more. Again, in breath. Exhale, push up. And press down, stay, five, four, three, two, one, and release the inner thighs a little bit closer to the floor. One more time, in breath, 
Exhale, press up and push down with the arms. Stay five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bring the legs together and hug your legs in. Good job and stretch your lower back. Okay, feet down, feet down. Walk your feet further away from your pelvis much more than we had before. All right, now from here, press the feet down. Draw in your center. I want you to lift the pelvis up in one straight line, hold that. Dorsiflex the feet, pull in the lower ab and stay for five. Make sure the pelvis is even. Four, three, two, one. Foot down, hip down. Again, exhale. Again, make sure the knees are parallel pointing up and your feet as well, because we are trying to work and strengthen the muscle around the knee with better knee alignment. And we go press down and lift the pelvis up and stay. Make sure you don't drift upward, but keep pulling your body to your feet and the feet towards the body and stay for five, four, three, two, one. We forgot to lift the toes up, so we do that again. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Foot down, pelvis down. Last one, again. We press down, we lift the pelvis, we drag the feet to the bottom, bottom to the feet, and dorsiflex the feet, and we stay for five, four, three, two, one, and foot down, and hip down, and release. Good job. Now it's time to grab your towel or your scalp. Okay, we're going to straighten the right foot into the towel. All right, you can have the left knee bent or straightened. From right here, go ahead and bend the knee and then straighten the leg up so you stretch the back of the leg. Allow the pelvis to release down to the floor and we bend. Again, exhale, we press up, reach, 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 and inhale, bend. Two more, we press out, reach, 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 and just watch the tracking of the knee joint. When you have your knee straight, make sure the patella doesn't roll inward or outward, straight towards you. And now from here, we're going to bring the leg across the body. Think about the little pinky pointing down to the floor. All right, we're gonna stretch the outside of the leg here. Keep the pelvis down, stay, and then we bring it back to the center. Again, bring the leg across the body, and then a little pinky to the floor. Again, the other leg can be down on the floor straight or bent as you wish. And come back to center and release one more time. And we go across the body, toes towards the floor, anchor the bottom down to the floor, stay. And we bring it back to center and release that. We switch with the other leg and anchor the bottom down, extend the knee, heel up to the sky, and we bend. Again, exhale, press, reach, extend, and knee bend. Again, extend, again, watch the alignment of the knee, make sure the patella pointing to you. And last one, extend, reach, and then we're going to go across the body and we bring the leg across, little pinky to the floor. So sickling your foot, inverting down to the floor, anchor the bottom down and come back to center. Again, leg across the body, little pinky towards the floor and anchor the bottom down, come back to center. We go again across the body and Sickle the foot or invert down to the floor, bottoms down. It, this can be quite uncomfortable if you have really tight lateral side muscles. And but I do encourage you to stretch this regularly. And we go across the body and over and come back, release. We bend the knee, let go of the towel and just put it to the side. 
Now go back to your first leg, take it up to tabletop, extend the leg straight up to the sky, extend the other leg down to the floor. Let's go to leg circle across the body, down as you inhale, stabilize the pelvis, exhale. Inhale one round, exhale. Inhale one round, exhale. Last set here, exhale, we stay. Reverse, out, down, in breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. Last one, exhale. We bend the knee, hug the leg to you, and then release down. And then bring the other leg in for me, extend the first leg out, bend the leg up, extend up to the sky, anchor the bottom, and let's go across the body for leg circle. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, stay. Reverse out. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, and stay. We bend, hug the leg into you, and Release. All right, let's turn to your side here. We are going to strengthen our glute muscles so we can support the pelvis and have a better knee alignment there. We have the legs together, feet together, aligned with the bottom. All right, lifting the underneath side here. For me, you can take the top hand on the top here and we go open for a clam. And two, we need to stabilize the center, stabilize the pelvis, and just go ahead, open the leg out to your maximum range before you flop the pelvis back. All right, Anna. Three more. Two. One. All right, extend the top leg, bring the bottom forward, relax the foot, stabilize the pelvis, we'll lift up. Two. Three. Lengthen the hip away, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go forward, up, down, and back, two, up, down, and back, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last. Now we come forward for three sets here. We're going to drop and lift. Two, five, exhale. Five, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last set. Inhale. And we bring it back. Well done. And bring it in. Bend the knees a little bit. You can hammer the bottom here. All right. Extend the bottom leg. Have the top leg in front of you here. Now you can use the top one to push the thigh away. Hold that center. Lift the inner thigh. And we come up. And again, two. Chest is open. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. All right, leg of the legs and help yourself up. You can hammer the bum a little bit more there. And we're going to turn and do the other side again. Bottom arms long, legs together, knee bent, feet in line with the pelvis. Lift the underneath waistline and clamps we go. Out, two, three, four, five, six, pelvis is stable, seven, eight, Nine, last ten. 
Okay, extend the top leg long, bottom foot forward, and here we go for the rest. Floppy foot, relax the foot, and lifting from the hip joint on three here. And four, and five, six, stabilize the center, eight, nine, and 10. We go forward, forward, up, down, back, two, three, inhale, back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last 10, and then we got the drop, and the lift, three sets, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, last set, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, we bring it back, Good job, we bring it down. Switch leg, extend the bottom, take the top one over, press the top hands, press the top tie away with your hands, and then we lift the bottom one. And two, so we're working the adductors here, the inner thighs muscle, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, well done. All right, release the leg, help yourself up. All right, you can hammer the bum a little bit here. Now we're gonna do a little bit more stretch. We're gonna cross one leg down and the other one on top here. Let's go with the first one first. Okay, so I have my right leg on top because that's the right one, the right leg, that I, the one that I work first. Lifting the spine here, make sure both pelvis, both pelvis, both sitting bone are down on the floor. Lift the spine. Rotate, arm in front across, and just go ahead and give me a bit more of a twist here. And we stay here, in breath. And exhale, so press against the thigh as you twist further. In breath. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And release. Other side. Cross the legs. Switch. Both sitting bone are down on the floor. And I lift the spine up, arm across in front, other one behind you, lift the spine and twist. Stay. Try to get the thigh as vertical as possible here. Exhale. Lengthen the spine as you inhale, exhale, twist further. Again, in breath, exhale, twist. One more breath, exhale, twist, and release. Well done. And let's stand up here. All right, some squats for you. I want you to have the feet as wide as your pelvis here, so not quite in line with the sit bone here. And then I want you to send the pelvis back, send the knees forward, look down and make sure that your knees are right aligned above the feet here. So we're gonna sit down and take the arms forward. Make sure you have an even dispersed weight bearing on your feet here. So not too much in the front and not too much on the back, just right across the feet. All right, we're gonna stay there. All right, a little bit more bias towards the back of the feet here, so we get more glutes working, less knee pointing forward. We stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and come on up. Two more times. Send the pelvis back, send the knees forward, spine is long, and look down, watch the knee, make sure they are above the feet and the feet are like number 11. Stay for five, four, three, two, one, and coming back, last one. We sit back, knee forward, and we stay. 
more towards the back of your feet here instead of more towards the front. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and extend. Shake it out. All right, we're going to finish the class with some roll done. Take an in breath. Exhale, soften the knees slightly. And then we're going to roll the spine down, articulate the spine. Let's take our body all the way down to the floor here. So touch the floor, even if you need to do more of a knee bend to get you down there. Now I want you to extend your left knee, right hand down to the floor, and then rotate your trunk towards the left side and look up to the sky. And stay there, lengthen up, straight left leg, twist up, three, two, one, and take it down. And we switch, extend the right knee, left hand down, rotate the trunk up to the sky and stay. In breath, lift, exhale, twist. And let it go. One more each side. Extend the left leg and rotate. Look up to the sky. In breath, we open and twist. Exhale. One more. Exhale, come on down. Last one. Extend the right and bend the left. Rotate the trunk. In breath, we open. Exhale, we twist more. Again, one more time, exhaling and lower the hands down and just let the body flop down on the legs for a moment. You can bend the knees a little bit more. Again, double checking that you have your feet in parallel position as well as your knees. In breath here, exhale, let's roll the spine up, up, up and take yourself all the way to a standing position and you are done for the day thank you so much for working out with me today that was wonderful i wish you a lovely day and take care thank you for watching and completing the class i'm mira and i'm here to help you to love look and feel your absolute best through pilates if you enjoyed this video you will love my seven day beginner challenge Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.